Hey, 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 everybody. Carter here. Got another video for you. This is going to be a Knife 101 video. So obviously, if you are a fairly advanced knife enthusiast, you're already going to know this, so you don't have to watch it. Hopefully, I put the title in correct enough that you know that, so you don't thumbs down the video for being too, you know, too... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Novice, I guess you'd say. But this is going to be about lockup percentage. Um, if you're not familiar with this, you'll hear that a lot. People will say it's locking up at 40%, 50%, um, you know, 75%, whatever that may be. And if you don't know what that means, or if you're unclear on what maybe that means, this video will set it right for you. Now, what inspired me to do this video, actually, without naming any names, I recently purchased a fairly expensive knife. Haven't got it yet, so you haven't seen it. Uh, but a fairly expensive knife from an actual dealer, and it was a used knife. So I asked that person, you know, what the lockup percentage was. And the answer they gave me wasn't really what I was looking for. Um, luckily, you know, I, I think it'll work well enough, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted to know. And basically what they said is that two-thirds of the lock bar is contacting the tang, and one-third of the lock bar is hanging off the tang. Now, because I know relatively with this knife how thick the tang is and how thick the lock bar is, you know, more or less, I it worked. It gave me what I needed to know. But had I not known that, um, it wouldn't have. And the reason for that is that same equation, two-thirds covering, one-third hanging off. If the knife has a thin lock bar and a thick tang, or a thin tang and a thick lock bar, that same measurement, two-thirds on, one-third off, is going to mean entirely different things between those two knives. It's a difference. One of those knives is going to be practically brand new, barely locking up, and the other one is going to be pretty well worn in. So when people talk about lock bar percentage, it doesn't matter how thick the lock bar is. That doesn't matter because the life of the lock is how long it takes for the inside to travel all the way to this scale. That's the life of the lock right there. Once this hits the scale, it can no longer self-adjust. And that's the beauty of the Walker lock system. Because this is angled, as it wears in, this will move in, but it'll remain tight. But once it hits here, it can't move anymore. And so it's bottomed out, and so all it can do is just start to get lock rock and things like that. Um, so when somebody measures percentage, what they're actually saying is how far in on the tang, which is right here, this is the tang, how far in the inside of this liner or lock bar, either way, how far in this is. So right here, it's just barely in on this Emerson. You could say, I don't know, what is that, 15, 20% or so. If it was right here, that's 50%. 75% and then 100% is all the way over. So the percentage talks about the tang and how far this is on that tang. Now here we got the Strider. This one actually is in more than most that I've had. This one's probably about 45%. So the inside of this lock right here is about 45% in inside this tang. If we could get it to focus. So if this lock bar was like right there, that's more like, yeah, what would you say, 20%, 25%, and then that's about 40%. If I were to open this really hard, it may move all the way into 50%. This may be like 45%. And if it went to about here, 75%, here, of course, that's 100%. So... That being said, that's, you know, that's the general rule of thumb. Of course, you know, this isn't written in stone, but, but when people want to know what percentage, what they really want to know is how much life is left in that lock or how much life has been used up in that lock. And so you don't need to concern yourself with what percentage of the lock bar is touching the tang so much as how far in it's moved. That's what people want to know about, and that's generally what they're talking about. All right, guys, I hope that was informative to at least somebody. You know, maybe everybody already knew that. Um, I've just heard a few people get a little confused on, you know, when you say percentage, if you're talking about 
how far in that is or how what percentage of the lock bar is touching or what exactly is meant and generally 99% um, of the time they're talking about how far that is moved what percentage of the tang that's moved in on alright guys take it easy have a good night later